Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number 18. This one's real similar to number 17, which is just two plies of six ounce e-glass and epoxy, but this one has got eighth inch core. Core is HAD PVC, Divinacell. It's about five pounds per cubic foot. This core comes just plain without any holes or scoring and so before I make this panel I'm going to lay out a grid and drill little holes to bleed resin and air out of the bottom skin. I'm drilling them on about two inch centers and with a sixteenth inch drill bit. I've got my materials laid out. To start with some resin and put down the bottom skin, which in this case is just a single ply of six ounce plain weave fiberglass. Just gonna wet it out with the squeegee. This is all pretty standard stuff. I'm trying to work the wrinkles out of it as I go. It wets out really nicely. Let's see it go clear. And what I'm trying to do is get the resin as uniform as possible on the surface. So when I put the core down, there aren't any big lumps of resin that have to get spread out. And I'm giving it a careful roll here with thicker laminate. This would help avoid pinholes. As it is, it's going to be pretty hard to get a perfect bottom surface. And here's the core, which I'm going to wet out with some resin. This is important to make sure there's a coating of resin over the surface of the core before you stick it down. Here I'm just squeegeeing it on there trying to keep this panel as light as possible so I don't want any excess resin. This can be done with a roller on a larger panel or a brush. Squeegee is nice because it doesn't put that much resin on. For anything with compound curvature you could fill this resin with um, silica or Q-cell or some type of semi-structural filler to help extend the resin, reduce the weight, and also get a, a better a better bond. So now it's wet out, I'm going to place it down here, press it down, and apply the resin to the top. Do the same thing, pretty much in reverse, it's easier now put down my ply of top skin. In theory this can be drier than the bottom skin because any excess resin from the bottom will get squished up through the holes and wet this skin out as well. Just being careful here, I find it's always a nice thing to roll things out. This is the peel ply. Try and work any wrinkles out of this. You can see there's plenty of resin. It wets out by itself there. And this is a P3 perforated film, which will control how much resin bleeds out and keep the breather here from getting stuck too badly to the peel ply. If you don't use the release film, Sometimes pulling pulling the breather and peel ply off can be a real hassle. And I'm just going to bag it down quickly um, because it's only an eighth of an inch high. There are not going to be any pleats. Just work it around real quick. And this is going to be my vacuum connection. It's just a piece of poly hose with some infusion mesh wrapped around the end of it with some tape to hold it on. This is great. It's a nice, cheap vacuum fitting that you won't be upset if you gum it up. Pull that bag down, and on this one I'm only going to pull about half vacuum, a little more, um, 14 inches of mercury, and the temperature on the panel is 86F, 30 degrees C. The following day I come back to demold it, everything cured up. Not too much bleed, that looks about right. 
it's it's heavier in some places and lighter in other places. I just put that yellow tape around the on the table as a guide when I was laying things out. You don't have to do it. Sometimes it makes it nicer. Um, holds things together a little when you demold it. There goes the release film. And this pops right off that adhesive Teflon nicely. And just adding that eighth inch core makes this an awful lot stiffer than sample number 17, which is just the two plies without any core at all. You can see a rough idea of how bendy it is there. And I trimmed it up to a one foot square and peeling off the peel ply here. Came out pretty nicely. There's definitely pinholes in the bottom skin. There's not, not much glass there and uh, not much resin. But it feels pretty stiff. It's definitely light. It's certainly a stiff enough panel to serve a lot of purposes that are not structural. But it definitely breaks. Let's see it failed on the compression side. The skin just cracked. But it'd be a, a handy type of panel. At four and an eighth ounces per square foot, it's pretty light. That's 116 grams per square foot. And this is a picture close up of the peel ply side. You can see the texture in there. And here's some of the pinholing on the mold face, which is not great. And up close of one of the corners showing the, the core, the core texture. It's a nice useful panel and a good example of what a little core will do. Thanks for checking it out.